Hey Angie, so what I'm gonna start with is I'm gonna show you how to tune up your guitar. Um, and based on the method that we're using, I know that this guitar is in tune. So um, I'm gonna help you tune your guitar to match these strings that are in tune. Um, just to kind of show you how, you, how show you how this is gonna go. Again, I know that this guitar is in tune. I just tuned it up. This guitar is not in tune. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this guitar first. I'm going to play each string starting here on this sixth string. I'm going to play it so you can kind of hear what the pitch is. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to play the same string on this guitar that's out of tune. You can hear that with this sixth string they are both at the same pitch. I'm going to go on to the fifth string and do the same thing. pitch of this one. I'm going to come here. You can hear that's the same pitch as well. We're going to come to the fourth string. Okay, I'm going to pluck this string. And listen to this. If you listen carefully, I don't know if you can hear this or not, I'm going to tune it down a little bit to let you hear it a little bit better. So I know this one's in tune. You can hear how this one is a little bit lower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the string or find the tuning peg that goes to that fourth string. So again, I'm playing this fourth string right here. Um, the tuning peg that controls the fourth string is this third one on the top, all right? <coughs> and if I'm gonna go, or if I need to bring the pitch up, I'm gonna go counterclockwise. So I'm gonna play it one more time. And I'm gonna twist it. You can see how I'm playing and twisting at the same time. And then gradually the sound is, in, or the pitch is going up. Until it matches. Let's go on to the third string and do the same thing. So I played the third string here on the guitar that's in tune. I'm gonna lower you a little bit so you can see what I'm playing. That's the same pitch. When I come to the second string right here, you can hear how it's a little bit lower. So I'm gonna play it again. And I'm gonna play it and twist that tuning peg at the same time until the pitches match. If I have one, like let's say that I have one that's a little bit higher, like this first string right here, I'm gonna tune this one counterclockwise until they match. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go through um, each string on this guitar, again, this guitar is in tune. And what I want you to do is I want you to listen and see if you can tell if the, um, see if you can tell if the string that you are playing corresponds to this one. See if you can tell if they're the same pitch. If it's a little bit higher, then I want you to do the thing where you just gently pluck this string like this and then adjust the tuning peg. If it's higher, you're gonna go counterclockwise. If it's lower, you're gonna go clockwise to bring it up um, and do that until it matches. So we're gonna start here on the sixth string. I'm gonna just play this one a couple times. Same thing with the fifth string now. All right, let's go on to the fourth string. All right, let's go on to the third string. the second string. We'll finish it on the first string. All right, so hopefully that helps. You can rewind that a few times if there's a string that you can't quite get down. 
If you can't get it, don't worry. Um, we can set up a Zoom meeting or something like that, and I can help you out with it. Um, let's see, real quickly, we'd also talk about the song um, Come Thou Fount. This one's just three chords, and I think there's an E minor, so it's four chords. G, D, C, and then one of the times we're going to replace the D chord with an E minor chord. Real quick, I'm just going to go through the strumming pattern for this one. You should have the chords that I sent this week. Um, so it's, again, the come thou starts before one. So the words sort of start before the very first count. So it's one, two, come thou one. So we're going to go come thou in our first strum. One, two, three. That's how we're going to count it. But I'm going to play eighth notes um, with my right hand. So it's one and two and three and 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 one and two and on the ants, I'm doing a lighter hit, so I'm doing a full strum on each one, two, th and three. So one and on the end, it's a little bit of a lighter strum. One and two and three and. Try that this week and let me know if you have any questions.